Hello everybody, and today we're going to be trying to draw Dogman. I hope you're ready for Dogman. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about drawing Dogman, and um, I haven't been putting it off, but to be honest with you, I had a request for Nikki Maxwell way before I had a Dogman request. So, uh, votes for Nikki Maxwell, yeah, not so many, but um, they did vote first, and that counts for something. So. For this dog man, I decided that I would um, make it the running dog man. And we could do a dog man with a cape, that's no problem. But this one, this one's just gonna be him running with his tongue hanging out. So I turned my paper horizontally. I think that's what's best. Let me get another sheet. I like to put a sheet over top of a sheet. There it is, just to keep it a little bit neater. And dog head's body and head, dog man, dog man's head. Yeah, I'm not sure what I said. Dogman's head is about the same size as his entire body. So we got to have a lot of room here for his head. Let's start with his, uh, his nose, all right? Up here, a little bit off to the right top corner. We're going to draw a straight line. And then kind of like a rainbow shape. It comes up and over and down. We can put a nose on the end. All right, and then right, right straight across from where the top of the nose comes over, I'm gonna put a point, it's almost touching here. That's gonna be where his smile is. So we gotta come down, come over, and then come up for his mouth. So come down, come over, and then come up. He's got three little dots on his nose, a little circle, and we'll fill it in, another little circle, and then mostly black. Just leave a little bit of white space showing. That'd be his nostrils, I suppose. From here, we can draw his tongue. His tongue is sticking out of his mouth, so we're gonna come down just a little bit here, all right? And then we're gonna make a tongue. So, the tongue, like a J, then it comes up. Where does it come up to? Well, let's go ahead and make a lump and another lump. And we can, right here where the lumps come together, put a little line down. And then this actually comes down and over. Nice big tongue. You don't want a skinny tongue. It won't look like dog man. All right, we can connect this now. So here we have uh, the bottom mouth of the mouth of the bottom lip is going to come out and it comes almost all the way out to the front one. It's a little bit shorter. I like to draw it in this direction and bring it in and then up. See that? Now you have the bottom lip. All right. And then he's got a, the back of his mouth. So the back of the mouth is here and we color all that in black. Good. All right. And let's make that bottom jaw. So imagine this line coming straight through the back, out the other side, and then curving up. I bring it down and curve it up. Good. Dogman's eyes are a little bit strange. They're mostly just like straight lines. So we got one here and one here. And Dogman's head has a hat falling off it so we can make three lines. Add the hat up here. The hat's really easy. It's kind of like a pan. It comes up and over. And then this kind of curves. And also, there's like a triangle there. And on his hat, it's got a U shape. And what I think always looks like a flower when I draw it. There it is. Okay, now for the body. Let's go ahead and right where the tongue comes out, we're gonna draw a line down, almost straight down, maybe tipped just a little bit, kind of to the side. And over here, we're gonna draw a more slanted tipped line coming out. And bring that line back, connect it, and then we could draw that flower shape inside his shirt, so. One, this kind of curves, curve, 
All right. There's three of them. Get all three. Let's do, uh, he's got a couple little hairs right here, I guess. We need to make sure we get them in. Four, five, actually. Probably whiskers, really, right? What's he missing? Let's do ears, huh? All right. Let's do the bottom ear, because we know where it starts. It comes out right here. And in. And then the next ear is just a little bit above that. And in. It's a little bit different shape. Pay attention to the shape. All right, off of uh, this side, let's work on this arm and leg, and then we'll do this arm and leg. So right here, we got the arm curves. So they should look like lines that follow each other. And there's the sleeve. He's got three fingers. One, two, three. Great. And the leg is actually just the opposite of the arm shapes. It's more of a U. One. Two. And the foot kind of comes up and around. Leg over here, up and down, and then look, it starts right here, and then the other leg line comes out and is shorter, and the foot, same size, remember. We want to keep them the same size. Then the other arm. So this other arm's got to fit back in here. So we got to come up, come up. And a lot of times the arms will stay the same size, but these ones notice that this is a little skinnier where it connects to the body, even on the leg. All right. And then three more paws. One, two, three. And there you have it. That would be our dog man picture. I, um, I want you to color this with me. I'm going to grab my colors and uh, let's get coloring. All right, I have my, my colors are all picked out, and I like to pick my colors out before I get started. So I have my tongue, I have my, um, this would be for the badge on his shirt and hat. I have uh, the dog fur colors, which is kind of a strange peach tan shape. And then I have my shirt and my pants and my shoes, all right? So let me clear all these off to one side and I'm kind of trying to keep him in order. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color him in. Uh, he's a strange shade of tan that I don't really have in my coloring pack, but that's, that's okay. That just means all we have to do is blend our colors together. And you can't be afraid of uh, testing colors, practicing your colors, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And when we blend, we mix and make new colors, maybe something that nobody's ever heard of before and somebody at Crayola gets paid big money to do that because I know that there are packs of crayons that have thousands in it and they, um, they don't have any two colors that's exactly the same. All right, so a little bit of a strange color peach right now, but we're gonna add some tan on top of it here in a minute, a different color, maybe like a yellowish color, and that will change that fur. Do it in the hand too.
So there's our dog man. In the future, we'd draw maybe dog man with a cape or his, the villains, uh, maybe even Captain Underpants. But I'm looking for your ideas. Uh, I, I care about you guys. And uh, while I can't be with you, I like to draw what you want to draw and keep you excited about drawing. Keep on practicing and stay positive and be safe. I'll see you soon.